It's very difficult to predict youth suicide. One reason that this might be is because our assessments don't fully capture the nature of suicidal thoughts. What we're finding is that there are more fine-grained characteristics of suicidal thinking and patterns of suicidal thinking that may develop over time that we might be able to better understand to improve prediction of risk. We're also looking at the broader sociocultural context and trying to better understand how clinical care might be improved in emergency departments for teens, especially those from lower income backgrounds and minoritized backgrounds. I'd like us to think about healthcare more broadly and systemically and not just making it the responsibility of particular institutions and only investing in clinical care, but also thinking more holistically about the circumstances that lead to gun violence and also to suicide.